Hi guys, long time no vlog. Today I'm going to the hyper acute stroke unit. I'm excited to see what it's gonna be like today and hopefully see how they like treat these patients if they suspect a stroke or how they rule out a stroke. I am home, I think it's 4 p.m. Stroke unit was actually really good, which is a good sign because I tend to find a lot of things in life very boring and I think I like my bed and doing nothing a bit too much. I was by myself today, there were no other med students with me, so it's kind of funny because you just have to find the ward that you're supposed to go to. <laughs> Managed to get there, it took me a while. The team was already having their meeting for the ward round, so I just have to walk in and be like, hey, I'm a med student, and they all just look at me and don't say anything and just carry on talking. We saw five Patients of four patients. Anyway, so the hasu, hasu, whatever you call it, was good. I then went to get lunch with Amit, got caught in a rainstorm, and got my hair cut. Ew, that's kind of nasty. Why am I showing that? Oh my god. I don't really want to do work now, but I do have a few hours before I need to like make dinner, so I have no excuse. So I think what I'm going to do now is read a bit up on stroke because there's definitely gaps in my knowledge. Then I'm going to do some questions on some question bank to try and consolidate the knowledge. News just in, I am trash. I have done three questions and I realized I'm really tired, so I stopped. I did get two questions right so I'm telling myself that it's okay to stop but it's really not. This evening I need to do some reading on stroke because it's such an important topic and I haven't read up enough. Let's see if that happens. So we're gonna use this little book it basically has short summaries of everything so I'm just gonna go over stroke right now. It takes quite a long time to go through one page but I'm gonna I think there's like three pages on stroke so Let's do that. Today I'm at a specialist neurology hospital. I have some teaching on movement disorders, so I think it's mainly Parkinson's. After the teaching has finished, um, I'm going to go and try and clock a patient, and that just means that you like take the history and do um, examinations, uh, like motor examinations of their limbs, see how they're moving, see if there's anything wrong with the nervous system. So I'm going to try and do that. Hi, Annie. Hi. Me and Annie are really lucky because we're in the same group and the group is only like yeah. five or six people big. Okay. Wait, Annie, should we go? We have to be there in like five minutes. Oh, that's good. We're gonna be here. Bye. It was really good because the doctor, there was five med students and the doctor made each of us do like part of the examination. So I did the cranial nerves, which was it's quite a long, there's quite a lot of stuff to remember. And he was just, he was just a really good teacher. So that was good. Um, I think I'm now going to try and study for a bit and then just going to head home. I need to stop doing this, like, it's not quirky, it's just annoying. I'm still a bit awkward speaking to patients, but I think it's just something that comes with time and practice. But I do feel like a badass because I literally have... Look, I shouldn't be excited about this, but, like, you can just scan through doors like this. This is what my life has come to, this is what I feel excited about. I snapped. So today was kind of busy. I had some bedside teaching in the morning and then I I went with Annie to clock a patient. So we tried to take his history and we did a quick examination of his upper limbs. After that, we had a quick lunch and then we were actually doing cannulation, which was a bit of a mess. We both got signed off, so we both have like passed. So we practice on the arms as much as we want to. Got flashbacks. So that's when you lower that end at that point. Yeah. And you advance a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
but then we only do it on each other twice um, and on the second time if you do it okay you get signed off but there's quite a few steps to cannulation you have to put the needle in and then like move it around quite a bit take it off and then attach like the little the little bung thing as you can see i really know the technical words very well For cannulation, there's one step where you take the needle out and it just, it bleeds onto like your arm and you have to quickly put in the bung to stop the bleeding. There's always a bit of blood and today when Annie did it to me, um, there wasn't loads of blood but like it did like go onto my arm and you can just see yourself bleeding and it's just a bit like, oh, oh no. But that was the second time I've done it so I'm signed off now. I just think it's funny that we have to practice on each other because I gave one arm to one of my friends and I gave my other arm to Annie, just being stabbed a lot really. After cannulation we had a lecture or like a small group session on patient safety but it was really just a doctor telling us that we shouldn't marry someone who is a doctor apparently. We should marry somebody with money, that's what we were told. Kind of regret wearing this jumper and shirt combination because it was very very warm and just very sweaty, not, not a pretty sight. Ew. Tomorrow I also have a fairly busy day, so I'll try and get an early-ish night tonight. I always say that, but then I end up sleeping at like 1 and it's just not good, guys. But yeah, overall, a good day. A busy day. I like clinical medicine so much more than pre-clinical medicine. I think my interest in medicine is being reignited because it kind of died a sad death in the last few years. But anyway, I'm going to try and go to the gym after I've cooked dinner and then I guess tomorrow is Friday and it's the last day of the week. Yay! Hi everyone. Hi, we just finished our consultant teaching. Um, and should, now... we, should we say about something interesting we learned? Okay. Um... I learned that CJD is rapidly progressive and you die in three months. If you have a pale optic disc in your eye, it means you have an optic nerve atrophy. Yeah, I think so. Is that a thing? Maybe. I don't know, that could be wrong. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've learned a lot. <laughs> <laughs> We've had three hours break, but we did nothing but accomplish. No. Three hours? It's been two hours since our consultant teaching, and we have only accomplished eating lunch. Something which is difficult about being in clinics and being in hospital is that I feel like I don't know anything, and then like doctors will ask us questions a lot. And it's kind of like a bit like Grey's Anatomy sometimes. Wait, this is like kind of triggering as well because they make you seem really, they make you feel really, really stupid. stupid. Even though like if they wanted to know the histological reason behind it, I could actually tell them because that's all we learn in preclin. But when I could, they're like, I couldn't tell you that. I couldn't tell you that. Oh. Also, I've literally used my stethoscope like five times <laughs> in two months. I don't know why I have it on. I am at home now. Next week is my last week of neurology. It's four weeks in total. So for the next week, hopefully, I just can do more questions. But this week is over. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.